Today, the Republican-led House passed a bill aimed at banning transgender athletes from playing women and girls sports in federally funded schools. Republicans argue it's about fairness. Democrats say it's just another target in the GOP culture wars. Bree Jackson has the latest from Washington. John, today's vote in the House is largely symbolic as this bill is unlikely to make it to the president's desk. But we have seen bans on transgender athletes in schools and several Republican-led states across the country. The debate over transgender athletes playing sports has come to Capitol Hill. Female athletes who sacrificed so much for their sport are being pushed out of athletics. House Republicans are pushing to amend Title IX and ban biological males from sports designated for women or girls. It's about fairness. It is a winning issue across America, standing up for the future of women and girls. The measure applies to federally funded schools. Democrats criticize the GOP, saying the focus should be on issues like protecting students from gun violence. This is Republican culture wars going into our classrooms from Washington, D.C. Similar bills have already passed several Republican-led states. I spoke with Minna Zelch, parent of an 18-year-old transgender softball player. What concerns do you have seeing your child go through this? The attacks feel absolutely relentless, and it's we're, we're all exhausted. Advocates say federal anti-trans legislation would have a devastating effect on mental health and other areas. The message it's sending to people that it's okay that these kids are not real humans. They're, they're subhuman is the message that it sends. Republicans argue their goal is to level the playing field. Democrats say the GOP is targeting an already vulnerable community. And even if this bill makes it through the Democrat-controlled Senate, which is unlikely, the White House says President Biden will veto it. On Capitol Hill, Bree Jackson, 2 News.